Should you use hints if you're studying towards your OSCP? Well, today we're going to discuss that. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. Now getting hints on your OSCP journey is one of those highly divisive topics. You find both people on either side of the camp either supporting using hints or not supporting at all. So today I'm going to break down both sides of the discussion as well as give you my opinion on the subject. So firstly before we get into it, let's just narrow down what I mean by hints. If you're working on a lab machine or even an exercise and you find you're finding it hard and you get stuck at some point, anytime you consult somebody else on this machine, then that would be considered a hint. And this includes things like using the OFSEC forums or Discord, the InfoSec prep Discord, uh, asking a friend who has already done the OSCP and things like that. Things which I don't count as hints is doing research on the topic, which may exactly be what you're looking for or any sort of more passive uh, way of information gathering like that. So now that I've defined exactly what I mean by hints, let's go over some of the positives and negatives of doing it. Obviously, one of the biggest reasons to take hints is just to get yourself over that area where you're stuck on. It helps you keep going with the machine that you're working on and moving through the exercises or lab machines so you can continue to learn more. It is arguably a bit more time efficient, but it does come with a few negative costs. And this can include a couple of things like not going off and doing your own research and sort of building that reliance on getting help along the way, which obviously isn't there in the exam. It can, secondly, people argue that you should learn the hard way by searching hour after hour after hour, just to try and find what you're looking for and going down those rabbit holes, which you shouldn't go down because at least you still learn something. Obviously both sides have a lot of credit to this argument. And my opinion is you kind of look down in the middle and try to find the middle ground. Now I'll be the first to admit that I used the forums and Discord when I was doing the PWK labs, probably a little bit too much. Felt that I was on a very tight deadline in which I was and I really wanted to get all the lab machines done. Often I'd try to find ways where I could justify this to myself, being that maybe this content won't be in the exam or maybe for some reason I just, I really want to go to bed and I just want to finish this lab. A few things like that. But the fact of the matter is I used hints a lot. But one thing that I always made sure that I did when I used hints was take note of what got me stuck. When I took note of what got me stuck, I would always reflect on it after I finished the lab and I would always go through as to why I didn't understand it, why it got me stuck and how I could have, how I could have worked it out on my own had I not resulted, resorted to getting hints. And this, and this was a really helpful process because it really helped me understand things that I didn't understand because sometimes you just don't know what you don't know and no amount of research and Googling is going to help you in that way because we all have our knowledge gaps in some areas. And secondly, as I mentioned, it was just really good at getting me to get all the lab machines done within the three month pass. But this isn't to justify that you should use hints every time you get stuck. I would always exhaust all options first. So if I was trying to, for example, exploit a machine, I would do all my enumeration. I would check every possible thing that I could think of, all my standard workflow. I would check multiple exploits if I couldn't get an exploit to work. And I would really exhaust all options first. Then I'll do a bit of research. And if, if after all that, I still got nowhere, then I would ask for a very small hint. Initially, I would use the offensive security forums until I discovered the InfoSec prep Discord channel. Link will be in the description. What I found with this channel was that I could ask for help on a machine and asked, ask the person who was providing the hint to be very, very vague. Um, I didn't want a huge hint. I just wanted to know what I needed to know just to get over that tiny little speed hump that I was on. Once I was over that little speed hump, most of the time I could just continue uh, throughout the normal process and finish the machine no problem. Sometimes I'll get stuck again and I'll just repeat that process. So essentially my process when it came to receiving hints was always to exhaust all options first, 
Once I've exhausted all options, then I would ask for a tiny, tiny little hint just to get me over the little speed hump that I was on. And then after I was able to successfully complete the machine, I would go back and I'd do a lot of revision and try to understand what it was I was missing and how I could find it next time. There were a few times where I fell into the same mistake over and over again. And when I was able to realize this, I started writing down on a separate notebook every time that I received hints and what I missed. When you find that common pattern and you start beating yourself up about it, then you damn as well make sure that you're not going to make those same mistakes again, especially if it's something really, really small and simple. So that's basically my opinion when it comes down to taking hints when doing your OSCP and my whole process around whether or not I should. As this is such a debated topic, it's pretty much expected that not everybody is going to agree with this and, and that this particular style of learning won't work for everybody. If you disagree, be sure to leave your opinions in the comments below. I think it will just be helpful for people to hear multiple sides. Of course, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. Anyway, I've been Jason from JasonSec. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.